and I'm almost angry that I didn't try this sooner. It's a product that's been around for a long time, a color that's been around for a while, and I just didn't try it till like last year, and I'm upset because it is so good. So earlier today, I realized that I've never done a video about my favorite lip liners. Guys, I'm obsessed with lip liners, and I wanted to gather all of my lip liners that I feel like are life-changing. I know that sounds dramatic because it's just makeup, but honestly, for me, like, not only do lip liners in general really change the game, I feel like it's one of the most underrated steps in makeup, honestly. I can't go a day without lip liner. Like, even if it's more of a casual makeup day, I always wear a lip liner. I feel like it just really helps make my entire makeup look look more clean and more purposeful. I don't know, I'm obsessed with lip liner. And even though I've tried hundreds, I'm sure, I have so many lip liners, you guys, I wanted to narrow it down to just the few that I feel like I would repurchase for the rest of my life. <laughs> these are so good, and obviously, you know, these are just based off of my personal taste and my personal aesthetic when it comes to, you know, a lip liner or lip colors that I personally like to wear or what I feel looks most flattering on me. I also have some lip liners that I'm in love with that are actually discontinued, and I think I may have found a couple of dupes for them. So let's just get right into it. The first lip liner is from NYX. I actually have a few from NYX because they make such great formulas and they're so affordable, but also their color selection is incredible. So I picked my top colors from NYX. This one right here is Nude Suede Shoes. I'm gonna be swatching all these on my hands and then individually on the lips as well. This one is a really beautiful kind of nudie pink. This is one of the lighter lip liners. I don't like to go too light with my lip liner because I would rather use a little bit of a deeper lip liner and then lighten things up with a lipstick typically, but I love this one and I feel like it really blends in to the natural color of my lip and looks super, yeah, just natural. So I'm gonna go ahead and line the lips with this and I guess I'm gonna kind of fill in the lips as well so you can get a better idea of the color all over the lips. So Nude Suede Shoes is the color that I reach for when I want my lip to be more muted. This comes in handy on no makeup makeup days and also when I have something really bold on the eyes and I want my lips to be defined but not overpowering. So here's what this one looks like all over the lips. It's just a great light pink nude. I absolutely love this one. Next up is also from NYX. This might be my current favorite lip liner out of all the ones I'm gonna talk about today. I am in love with this one. Now this is called Nude Beige. It is one of the best colors. <laughs> I can't get enough of this. This is the lip liner that I feel like goes with absolutely everything. You can see it's very much a nude beige. And to me, it's the perfect beige lip liner for me, my skin tone, my undertone. I'm absolutely obsessed with this one. Let me show you what it looks like on. I adore this color. So this one's definitely more on the beige side, obviously, but I love it because it really defines the lips and gives it just a beautiful muted kind of beige tone. But again, it's not too deep, it's not overpowering, so I love to use this when I have something um, bronze and smoky on the eye, and I don't wanna go too pink on the lips. This is always a go-to for me. I love that beige undertone because it kind of slightly contours my lips in a really light way. This is one of my all-time favorite colors. I love this so much. Last but not least from NYX is this one right here. Now this one is in the shade Natural. It is so beautiful. This one does have a little bit of a deeper tone and undertone to it, but it's almost like a tone somewhere in between the first two. It does have a little bit more of a deep tone to it, but it's not too pink. It's also not too beige. It's somewhere right in the middle, which is why I love it so much. I'll show you what it looks like all over. So as you can see, this one right here is starting to define my lips a little bit more. To me, this color would be a perfect like wedding day lip liner, just because it gives you that extra definition that I feel like you may need for photos or for videos, but it doesn't look too deep or too drastic compared to my natural lip color anyway. So I absolutely love this one. I love the NYX formula. You really can't go wrong. And this one works really well with an eye look or it works well if you have something more soft on the eyes and you want just a bit more of a focal point on the lips, but you still want it to look natural and every day. That's when I go for the shade natural, which is very fitting. All right, moving on to the next lip liner. I of course had to include this in here. I know it's an iconic lip liner worldwide, it feels like, but it's also genuinely one that I feel like I n just never fails me. You know, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner. This is the original. They do have like a medium and a pillow talk intense, which I actually really do enjoy the medium as well. However, this one I feel like is the most life-changing for me. This color is like the perfect 
pink. Like it's a true pink. I don't feel like it runs super nude. It matches the most pink parts of my lips, which I absolutely love. Let me go ahead and finish <laughs> filling this in. I mean, this is iconic for a reason. Oh, let me swatch it next to the others on my hand as well. So you can see how much more pink it really is. It almost has a bit of a mauve to it as well, which I love. But you can see it's much more cool tone than even this one right here. I think that's why I love it so much and that's why it's so flattering. So here it is all over the lips. My lips are quite dry today, so probably not the best day to swatch lip liners by themselves, but you get the idea. This one, I feel like I will never not have in my collection. It's just one of those colors that I keep going back to time and time again. If I'm in a rush and I just don't know what lip to do, I reach for Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk because it's just foolproof and it's so flattering and I just know it looks good in any lighting and pictures, etc. I just, I love this one. This next color is also from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm almost angry that I didn't try this sooner. It's a product that's been around for a long time, a color that's been around for a while and I just didn't try it till like last year and I'm upset because it is so good. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Iconic Nude. Oh my gosh, if you don't have this, guys, please do yourself a favor and pick this up because this one, this one is really good. <laughs> Here's what it looks like right here. So this one is gonna start giving you a little more depth, a little more of a contour. I find that this looks good on so many different people, so many different skin tones. I mean, it's incredible. Let me show you what it looks like on the lips. This is a go-to for me when I wanna kinda overline my lips or just give them like a really defined contoured edge to them. I love layering lighter lipsticks in the center of this. <laughs> my lips started bleeding. Whoops, that's how dry they are. I have been on the hunt for like a good lip balm. I have my favorites, but I don't know, like sometimes my favorites just stop working for me. And I just feel like that's been happening. So if you have any holy grail lip balms or lip treatments, specifically overnight lip masks, let me know in the comments. So here's Iconic Nude all over the lips. Holy smokes, it's a good one. I love this one. Again, I just feel like it really helps shape the lips. If you want the lips to be more of a focal point, this is your girl. This is such a good one. I think it makes your lips look more pouty. It makes them look really full. It helps give you that depth and that contrast that certain looks require. I'm obsessed with this. And again, I'm so mad that I didn't try this earlier, but on the bright side, it's in my collection now and I love it. All right, now we're moving on to the discontinued lip liners and then I'll show you the dupes that I found for some. The first one being the Kiki W Beauty lip liner in the shade 0 0.5. I'm hoping that she brings these back eventually, but we'll never know. I love this one though. I'll have it swatched right here. And actually when I was swatching them, this one is a little bit more peach, but I did feel like the NYX Nude Suede Shoes was pretty close. Let me show you. I'm just gonna kind of do an extension down the Nude Suede Shoes swatch with this so you can see how similar they really are. So the bottom half is Nude 0 0.5, the top is Nude Suede Shoes. So you can really see that it does have a slightly more peach undertone, but they're very, very similar. I was happy to discover this today because I have been missing this one. Little did I know I had something so similar here. <laughs> and even though this is discontinued, I'll swatch it on here just for the fun of it. So there you have KKW Nude 0 0.5, which you can see it is a little more peachy than the Nude Suede Shoes. However, it gives you a very similar effect. So I wanted to make sure to show you that comparison in case you're looking for something similar to this. But anyway, that's what it looks like all over. The next one is also from KKW Beauty and it's Nude One. Now, I don't know if I found a dupe for this one. I'm sure I have one somewhere. Here it is. It's kind of similar to Nude Beige, but I would say it's a little more brown than Nude Beige, just a little bit, but similar tones. So keep that in mind. I don't know if I would say it's a very close dupe, but very similar. Oh my gosh, she needs to bring these back because they're just so good. The formula, the colors, they are amazing. So I feel like my lip lines are getting a little sloppier. Look how stunning that is. I love this one. I hope she brings it back, but again, Nude Beige gives you a similar vibe if you're looking for something similar to this. Not an exact dupe, but something pretty close. Last but not least, I'm so sad that like I can't find this anywhere. It's on their website, but it has been unavailable for months. And it's the Melt Cosmetics Foxy Lip Liner. Now this is one that gives me the most beautiful contoured looking lips. I love this one. Here it is right here. You can see it's the deepest shade in the bunch and it does have a little bit more of a cool tone than even this one right here. I'm gonna show you this on half the lips because I do feel like I found a pretty close dupe, which I'll put on the other half of my lips. 
This was the lip liner that for some reason, even with bright colors, still worked with something bright. It just really helped to kind of ground the edges. I absolutely adore this one for just that super contoured lip look. However, I do feel like this one is pretty similar. This is Nude Truffle from NYX. And let me show you this right underneath. I gotta kind of do this with the pencil facing this way. I will say Nude Truffle is a little bit more warm toned, but they're very, very similar in my opinion. So it's gonna give you a very similar effect. Let me show you what this looks like on the other half of my lips. The lip lines are getting messy at this point, folks. But you can see how close those colors are. This one is slightly warmer if I'm being picky, but you can get that same really nice defined edge. And I actually haven't tried this one with bright colors, but I'm assuming since I like this one so much, this would probably do something similar. So I was happy to find something so close to this because I've been devastated that this hasn't come back in stock. And I'm hoping that it does at some point. I don't really know what's going on, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna create a little bit of a lip look. I'm gonna use the Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm gonna slightly overline the lips with this and then fill in the corners, leaving the center of the lips bare. I'm gonna go ahead and take the ColourPop So Glassy Lip Gloss in the shade Solana, and I'm just gonna focus this on the center of the lips. I am of course gonna blend it into the lip liner, but I want the focal point to be in the very center. I just feel like lip liner really completes a makeup look. It's actually one of my favorite steps in makeup. So there you have it. Those are my top lip liners. I have tried so many and there are so many really amazing lip liners that I do love, but these are definitely my top picks that just make my heart so giddy. I would love to hear from you guys. What are your favorites? Like what are your ride or die lip liners? Leave them in the comments down below. I wanna know if there's any lip liners that I'm missing out on that I've never tried because I love lip liners. I really do feel like they make such a difference in your overall makeup look. So don't forget to comment that down below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, we wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.